Hi, I'm Shane Floyd with Swift Hill Productions. Around the turn of the century before last, long before there was skiing, tubing, or fishing nearby, long before people walked or rode bikes in the mountains just for the fun of it, and back when Ski Run Road was just a dirt trail, there was the Bottle House. It was called the Bottle House to all who passed it on their way to town and was used as a reference point or landmark to those who lived nearby or frequently passed. The evening winds would stir up the bottles tied to the branches of the trees, and the tinkling of the glass was heard by all who lived cautiously nearby. It was hoped by the occupants of the old bottle house that the ghosts known to be on the land would hear the tinkling of the glass and stay away. Over the years, the cabin fell in disarray, and the bottles crashed to the ground. But the place was still known as Bottle House, and it was the only name given to the old cabin. That was then, and this is now. The old cabin is gone, and in its wake stands a beautiful new compound full of wonderful cabins with amazing amenities. Nestled at the foothills of the Sacramento Mountains lies Riadosa's best kept secret, Bottle House Cabins. I'm Paula Gunn. I own Bottle House Cabins. Bottle House Cabins has been legendary in these parts for over 100 years. We're sitting here in our amphitheater right now. As a matter of fact, again, I'm on the dance floor uh, next to my gondola car here. Uh, this is where we have lots of parties. We do weddings here. We've done all kinds of things here at the amphitheater. What circumstances led to you and your husband owning Bottle House Cabins? The planning and zoning director that owned this, um, of Rio Doso that owned this property, uh, one day got sort of crosswise with the village and decided then and there that he was going to quit and go on to bigger and better things. And he called us up and asked us if we wanted to buy this property. And my husband's answer to him was, what is it you actually really have to have? Because I really probably don't have much more money than that. And uh, we walked the property and the first thing that hit me was, we've got to turn it into a resort. So we made an offer, we took the property, uh, six acres, and began to develop it. There was not a thing on here except down trees, uh, brush, the old cabin, junk, bottles, you name it. And uh, over six years we've, we've cleaned it up, it looks really good, we have a lot of fun out here. And all of the cabins are faced in a way that they don't have neighbors peering down on them. They can all just walk out their front doors and get to the forest and enjoy the wildlife, enjoy the hiking and the biking that's up there. The biking is something that we're really beginning to take an interest in. And we're working on some of these trails around here behind us that uh, we can get in and out with a, a mountain bike and uh, not just black diamond mountain biking, but mom and pop and the kids type biking as well. Well, what does the future hold for your place here? That's a, that's a good question. Um, I love the simplicity of nine cabins. It, with me being in the 10th cabin, we had always thought that, that we'd get another one, a larger cabin, we would build a cabin for ourselves. Um, I don't really think that's necessary. I'm beginning to really like the simplicity of living in 400 square feet. Um, have owned big houses in the past. Uh, this is real simple. I like walking across the driveway to get to my office. Um, I spend all my days up here on, on the mountain. I, another cabin or two from an economic standpoint would probably be advisable. Some of my guests have um, asked if we would put in a zip line. I don't know where we'd start and I don't know where we'd stop. But <laughs> I know that it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> And can you elaborate and tell us the significance of the bottles? As far as the bottles went, uh, they were mostly blue, milk of magnesia bottles. That was something that, um, besides whiskey bottles, was easy to get. That was something that, um, obviously, the diet of, of the people that up here in the mountains, uh, the squirrels, the bears and stuff that they ate, there's not a lot of vegetables to, to be had, no fresh produce, things like that. Uh, roots and, and that type of thing were kept in, in the basements and the, the cellars, the root cellars and that kind of thing. Uh, so obviously they needed their milk of magnesia <laughs> and so they bought it 
uh, by the droves, and that's where the, the blue bottles came from. But the way that she hung them from the trees was not the clanking kind. They were, they were inserted over the end of the uh, limb so that the, bottle, the ghost could climb in there from the tree and get stuck in the bottle. For you skiers, Bottle House Cabins is closer to Ski Apache than any other resort or cabin. And for your next event, don't forget Bottle House Cabins. 575-336-1145, that's 575-336-1145. Or check out their website, www.bottlehousecabins.com.